Wellfleet, Mass. AP, a man was bitten by a shark Saturday in the water off a Cape Cod beach and died later at a hospital, becoming the state's first shark attack fatality in more than 80 years. The man, identified by Cape and Islands Assistant District Attorney Tara Miltimore as 26-year-old Arthur Medici of Revere, was attacked around noon off Newcomb Hollow Beach, police said. Booth, a local fisherman and surfer, said he was on shore when he saw the man and his friend boogie boarding when the attack happened. He said he saw the man aggressively kick something behind him in a flicker of a tail from the water. He realized what was happening when the friend came ashore dragging his injured friend. I was that guy on the beach screaming, shark, shark, Booth said. It was like right out of that movie, Jaws, this has turned into Amity Island real quick out here, emergency personnel respond to Newcomb Hollow Beach and Wellfleet. Eric Williams, the Cape Cod Times via AP Booth said others on the beach attempted to make a tourniquet while others frantically called 911. Haley Williamson, a Cape Cod resident and former lifeguard who was on the beach at the time, was in disbelief after the man was rushed into an ambulance. We've been surfing all morning right here and they were just further down, she said of the two boogie boarders. Right spot, wrong time, I guess, life-saving measures were attempted on the beach before the man was taken to Cape Cod Hospital in Hyannis, where he was pronounced dead, state police spokesman David Procopio said. The beach has been closed to swimming. The family of the victim was notified of the death but his name was not released, Procopio said. It was the first fatal shark attack in Massachusetts since 1936, and the second shark attack this season. A 61-year-old New York man was severely injured August 15 after fighting off a shark off Truro, about four miles north of Saturday's attack. He's currently recovering in a Boston hospital. Today is just keeping everyone out of water, Hurley said. There'll be a determination later about what the town wants to do with the beaches going forward, beachgoers said the Wellfleet Beach is popular with surfers, and with sunny skies and warm temperatures Saturday it was busy, even though the summer season was over and lifeguards were no longer on watch. There have been frequent shark sightings this summer along the Outer Cape, often leading to beach closings. The National Park Service, which manages many of the picturesque beaches where white sharks tend to congregate, said it closed beaches for at least an hour about 25 times this year, more than double the annual average. Two signs at the top of the dune at Newcomb Hollow Beach alert visitors that the beach is closed to swimming. Marilee Cassidy, the Cape Cod Times via APA Cape Cod politician said officials who did not take more aggressive action against sharks bore some responsibility for the fatal attack. Barnstable County Commissioner Ron Beatty said he had warned something like this could happen and urged measures to reduce the number of white sharks. It is my personal belief that the responsibility for this horrible shark attack rests squarely upon the shoulders of the aforementioned officials for their utter lack of attention and inaction regarding the growing shark problem on Cape Cod of the last few years, he said. The state's last shark attack fatality was on July 25, 1936, when 16-year-old Joseph Troy Jr. was bitten in waters off Mattapoisett. Troy, of Boston's Dorchester neighborhood, was visiting an uncle and was swimming about 50 feet offshore when the shark attacked. A map of the area on Cape Cod. Google Maps Associated Press reporter Philip Marcello contributed from Boston. The biggest headlines, delivered to your inbox, get news as it happens. Sign up for Boston.com's email news alerts. Thanks for signing up.